Welcome to Franchise Sports. I'm Tiana. I'm Curtis. And I'm Tamika. Your Franchise Sports starts right now. Hey, it's Michael the Playmaker, 87 National Champ, three-time Super Bowl Champ. And you're watching Franchise Sports. Last week, the Florida High School Athletic Association released its master schedule for high school football. Godby and Leon will once again kick off the season at Gene Cox Stadium in September. Most games are the same as in previous years, but there have been some district changes that will have an impact on the 2011 season. Next week, we'll bring you updates from, from spring ball, which has already started. Flag football teams continue to compete for playoff spots. The biggest matchup took place last week as the 4-0 Childs Timberwolves defeated the 4-2 Leon Lions in OT. It was an outstanding game that came down to the last few steps in a rival matchup. Childs went on to play God Behind Monday night. Here are the scores from all the games that took place this week in flag football. Last week, we announced that our own home team coach, Eli Bryant, was named 2010-2011 Florida Dairy Farmers Boys High School Basketball Coach of the Year. Our franchise sports reporters sat down with the award winner. Rickards High School basketball so far has won two district titles, made one Final Four appearance, and won the 3A state championship, but not without the help of this man, Coach Eli Bryant. Bryant was just announced as the 2010 Florida Dairy Farmers Coach of the Year, an award he says shows proof of their hard it's work. Great. It's great. I think it's a testament to, to the uh, body of work that we're trying to do here with his basketball program, especially academically and socially. The winner is chosen by a panel of coaches and media representatives throughout the state of Florida. Having a career record of 109 and 20, Brian has received other awards like this for coaching, a passion he stumbled upon by accident. Brian says he's never played organized basketball and was considered uncoachable. Still having a love for the sport, he was introduced into coaching by his best friend who led a team to victory in Texas. Now retired, he uses coaching for a larger purpose. Pushing achievements on and off the court, Bryant says it gives him a chance to minister. I couldn't see anybody trying to develop these kids socially and academically and spiritually, and that's how I got caught up in it. To me, this is a ministry. I mean, only by the grace of God do you have this kind of success. One player says Brian isn't only a good basketball coach, but a good life coach. Uh, he helps us grow up, tell us what not to do, tell us what to do, what's right, what's wrong. So, I mean, he's preparing us for the real world. Many high school baseball games were canceled last week due to severe thunderstorms in the area. That was not the case for this week. Teams resumed play in North Florida, and there were plenty of strikes and runs this week in high school baseball. Every week we're in the dugouts and locker rooms of our high school baseball teams with all the most exclusive news and information. Now we have found our way to Godby High School, home of the 7-Eleven Cougars. On Tuesday afternoon, Leon coach Robbie Zimmerman returned to his former home, Godby High. The Lions held control of the game up to the bottom of the seventh inning. Godby High scored four runs to take the lead and the win. Coach Zimmerman and the Lions were unsuccessful. They will be looking to rebound on Tuesday against Rickards. This week, Gobby baseball team handled business. They didn't even 
need much motivation. I don't know if you guys know the backdrop. Coach Zimmerman was here for you know 20 years, and all these kids he coached for three or four years, and uh, it was, you know they they wanted to win this game, you know, as much as any game we've had. Uh, so it didn't take any telling them anything. Um, they also wanted to give it back to somebody because we've lost five games and the other team last that bad this year. We we finally back at home now. We got a chance to do it. So it didn't, wasn't anything I did or said. The boys were just they were up the whole time. Let's go. That's our pitcher. He uh, he pitched a complete game, got the game winning RBI, and what he did was he went opposite field on that one. He's a you know he's a full guy a lot of times, and he you know he just stayed on it and drove it that way, and uh, you know got the hit walk off fashion. So he's he's definitely staying out there. Now the Cougars look to finish the season strong. A lot of hard work, keep preparing every day. Left before we head into our district playoffs, and uh, once we get there, it's one game. One game we go to playoffs. So uh, five games left. We, we need to end the season. We got to be you know, clicking on all cylinders at the end. Uh, this is a great start to the Five games left. Uh, win that fifth. And we go to playoffs. With the regular softball season starting to come to a close for many North Florida squads, teams are working their magic to potentially excel to the postseason. Here are the scores and highlights from this week. The Cougar softball team traveled to the Lady Raiders softball complex for a competitive match on Wednesday afternoon. The Lady Raiders were able to earn six runs to defeat the Cougars six to one. Rickers softball coach Mindy Buckles has been working hard to get her team and most importantly the Rickers softball program on track. We had an interview with the coach to find out a little bit more about their program. Check it out. My expectations were to do better this year than we've done in the past and this is my sixth year and every year we get better. Last year we finished 14 and 13 and that was my first season over 500. Uh, the first year I got there, but the year before I got there they were 2 and 20. And then every year we've won one more game and lost one less. The Young Rickards softball team is making strides. Rickards is harder than other schools and I say that from experience of being there. We have two girls on our team that play travel ball and it's like AAU basketball. Everybody plays at other schools, you know, and travel ball is so critical to become a better player. We have girls on our team that have never played softball until they get to high school. We don't even have a JV team. We've never had enough girls try out for a JV team. So we've got to keep enough people to try to build for the next year with one team. We've also got to work twice as hard because we play four months out of the year. These other teams play 12 months out of the year. And they play together all year. And it's, it's great just to be able to teach these girls the game enough to, so that they can play with the other teams that play year-round, that have played since they were in fifth grade. Rickers coaching staff has had a huge impact on the players. My assistant coaches are amazing, and if I didn't have them, I would not know what to do. Uh, they are great. They're there every day. They push the girls. We talk to them about how important it is that not just one of these girls can go to college. Every one of them are talented enough to go to college. They're athletic. They are great. They have all potential in the world. They just have to put it in the right direction. And they don't understand, I think, when they first come into it, that it's that serious. And how they practice affects whether somebody else can go to college. Score first and score last and don't let them score at all. No. <laughs> score more than they do. No. Uh, we, we really need to have a solid defense and just talk. If we talk as a team and we, we hustle the whole time, nobody can beat us. We just, we, we beat ourselves. Well, that was entertaining, wasn't it? It sure. is. I, I like to hear about softball, softball. and baseball. Yeah. Did you play, you played baseball, so I know you liked it. Yeah, I played baseball, you know, you played softball, right? Yeah, we have something in common. Mm -hmm. uh, ball. Tamika. Hey, but, <laughs> Tamika played we'll softball too. We'll be back right after the break with more action. <laughs> Stick around. You play softball. 